Hey guys, today we'll speak about cerebellopontine angle tumors, which include schwannomas and meningiomas. First, let me show you this angle, so as the name suggests, between the cerebellum and the pons. We will start with schwannomas or neuromas. So they arise from the nerve cells, from the neurons. You have three different types, the vestibular, the trigeminal and the facial. This is in descending order of prevalence. Starting with the vestibular, schwannomas, also known as the acoustic neuromas. They arise from the eighth nerve, cranial nerve, which is the vestibular cochlear nerve. They can be due to neurofibromatosis type 2 and they mainly occur in women in their middle ages, like between 30 to 60. You have three different types. You can have a small one, which is less than 1.5. You have medium, which is between 1.5 to 2.5. And then you have large, which is more than 2.5 centimeters. The eighth nerve, so you'll have gradual hearing loss, can be bilateral in 5% of cases, ringing in the ears. The patient can be dizzy because the vestibular portion of the nerve is to do with balance and equilibrium. Schwannomas are benign and slow growing, but um, if they compress, you can see the facial nerve, it is in close proximity to the vestibular cochlear nerve. So if it compresses the facial nerve and invades it, then you will have symptoms of facial nerve palsy. You can have facial muscle weakness because the facial nerve contributes to the muscles of the face and expressions. If it becomes extremely large, then it can also affect the trigeminal nerve, which is the fifth cranial nerve, and it can lead to loss of sensation, neuralgia in the face. You have a grading scale that defines four stages. So stage one is where it is only in the internal auditory canal. Stage two is where it has reached the cerebellopontine angle. Stage Three is when it has completely taken over the angle and stage four is when it is so large that it is compressing the brainstem. For diagnoses, other than the normal imaging studies, you can also use audiogram to check the hearing and electronostegmography to check the balance. Okay, here is a T1 MRI view of an acoustic neuroma. You can see it on the right side here is the t2 version and here is t1 plus contrast for treatment you have three types of craniotomies you have suboccipital trans labyrinthine and middle fossa craniotomy depending on the size of the tumor the location you can opt for different methods Moving on to the next schwannoma is the trigeminal one. It is the second most common, as I mentioned earlier. It is the fifth cranial nerve with three branches, the ophthalmic, the maxillary, and the mandibular branches. Here is a T1, a T2, and a T1 plus contrast showing the trigeminal neuroma on the right side. Moving on to the facial nerve, the seventh one, responsible for the muscles. It can lead to facial nerve palsy or Bell's palsy. You can see the facial nerve on the left side. There is a big mass and it is extending through the facial canal. On to the last part of this video, meningioma, the pontocerebellar meningiomas. I've already spoken about it in another video, so you can go and watch it on that one. But I'll show you what it looks like on T1 plus contrast. You can see the meningioma on the right side. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.